morning guys so it's about 11 30 in the morning um i've had a busy morning just getting shit done basically um the house is still a mess from when ben's parents came and dropped off all of my stuff from brisbane so i've kind of just been pottering away at that and editing yesterday's vlog and replying to emails and just a whole bunch of stuff um the weather today is like really really weird last night oh my god Last night, it was so god dang hot. Like, I'm usually the coldest person ever. Like, I'm always, always cold. But last night in bed, I was like, this is going to sound so gross. I was sweating it up. Hey, I think it was something like 28 degrees last night, but it felt so much hotter. So in the middle of the night, I literally came and laid out on the couch and put the aircon on and was just like straight under the aircon to try and cool myself down. Being sunburnt probably didn't help the situation, but yeah, it was so hot. And now today is like overcast, but still really muggy and hot. And I looked at the weather app on my phone this morning and it said that it's going to get to like 19 degrees this afternoon and going to get really cold and like um, rainy and stuff. So, so weird. I'm not used to like such big changes in weather because in Brisbane, it's pretty much just like a regulated temperature. But as you get more south in Australia, the temperature just like changes so rapidly. So yeah, it's a little bit weird. Anyways, so my plan for the rest of today is I'm going to make another trip to Kmart because I have a $50 voucher that I can use at Kmart, which I've only just realized, which is amazing. Um, and I wanna get some pillows for our couch because you gotta have pillows on your couch, right? Um, ben doesn't agree with that. Ben's like, Erin, we don't need any more pillows, but I'm a bit of a pillow freak, like a cushion freak. I love having cushions. So yeah, I'm gonna go and find some cushions in Kmart. Um, but yeah, I don't know really what else I'm doing today other than getting this house cleaned up and organized because there's still a lot of stuff like that cabinet or that drawer like that set of drawers there is so heavy i can't move it myself it's the alex drawers so many beauty bloggers and just people in general have these drawers so if you guys have these drawers yourself you'll know how freaking heavy they are even when they're empty like there is nothing in this at the moment but it is still so heavy so i can't move it myself i need to wait until ben gets home um, so yeah, I need to get that put away into our spare bedroom, which I'm going, which I'm going to use as like my filming room and our guest bedroom. Um, so yeah. And then there's like a whole bunch of cords down there. I have no idea what all of them are. So Ben said he was going to go through them with me this afternoon when he gets home because we need to sort them out. Like, I don't know what anything is. Uh, so yeah, there's still a lot to do. I hate being in an, like an unorganized house. It just makes me feel unorganized and unmotivated. So yeah, I really need to get that sorted ASAP. So I've just decided I'm going to try out the matcha tea that I showed you guys in yesterday's vlog. Um, I never ended up trying it yesterday. So I'm going to start the 28 day detox now. And I guess over the next few days, I'll update you guys on how I'm feeling and like the progress of the way that it makes me feel and stuff like that. Um, I am someone who gets very, very, very bloated. I don't know why. I just always, like if I have something carby, like bread, potato, pasta, whatever it is, which is like all my favorite foods. So I'm hoping that this tea will kind of like settle that down a little bit. I'm not really sure. Um, and the other thing is obviously being vegetarian. I do find that I have low iron levels quite frequently. I take iron supplements for that. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if this matcha tea makes a difference in how I'm feeling energy wise and how I sleep at night and stuff. I never usually have a problem sleeping at night. Last night was horrible. Like I said before, it was just disgusting. I th don't think I got much sleep at all. Um, but generally I do actually sleep very, very well. So yeah, I'm interested to see the changes that drinking this tea makes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try the first one now. I'm just going to prop you guys up. Well, my arm looks so weird. So the Boost Matcha is the one that you're supposed to have in the morning. This gives your metabolism a kick in the bum. It burns calories and gives you sustained all day energy. So I'm gonna try this one first. 
I don't know whether I should have it hot or whether I should have it as like a cold drink. I might try it hot to start off with because I really like green tea. I've heard that this doesn't taste much different to green tea and I am a fan of green tea. So I might try it as like a hot drink. I've just boiled the kettle so that's going to be a bit noisy now. So I guess I'll just cut to when the kettle is finished boiling now. So I've just changed my mind. I think I'm going to have it cold because it's really hot today and I really want to go to Kmart. So I feel like if it's cold, I can drink it faster. So yeah, I'm going to drink it cold. Okay, so I opened the packet and it actually smells really, really nice. It just smells like maybe like a more concentrated version of green tea if that makes sense. So it says to put half a teaspoon into your cup or your glass. So I'm gonna do that. And then you put a splash of hot water in so that it creates a paste. Like that. I really hope I'm doing this right. And then it says to add the rest like hot or cold water. I can definitely see how you can use this as a face mask. So I might try that later on in this week because I'm really interested to see kind of how it makes my skin feel. Cause you could, yeah, like it just creates a paste which you could just pop on as a mask. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna pop some cold water in there now and mix it around. So many people are put off by green drinks. Like Ben, my boyfriend, he will not touch a drink that is green. Um, whereas I love it. If it's green, it means it's healthy. And usually they'd actually taste like really nice as well. If people just like gave it a shot, they'd realize how good it actually tastes. But yeah, it does look kind of funky when it's green. It's actually mixing really easily. I was a bit worried that adding cold water wouldn't dissolve like that paste, but like it seems to be. I'm just gonna keep mixing because the last thing I want is to take a big chug of this drink and get a few chunks in my mouth. Oh, that'd be gross. So I'm just gonna mix some, I don't have any like cold water from the fridge. So I'm just gonna pop some cold sparkling water in with it as well because I don't feel like the tap water was cold enough to just like drink. Okay, let's see how this goes. It's not great, <laughs> but it's not terrible either. Like it kind of just tastes, it just tastes really similar to green tea, but maybe like a bit more bitter, like or stronger than green tea. And I don't know how I feel about drinking it cold. Got a really weird taste, but the taste kind of disappears quickly. So I feel like you could just skull it, get it over and done with, and it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much of a difference it makes. I'm gonna stick to it and I'm going to do it as per the instructions to see how much of a difference it makes in my body. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so I'm gonna head up to Kmart now. I just looked in the mirror and noticed that this eye is like swollen. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's a little bit puffy and red and I don't know why, cause it's not sore. Like it doesn't feel irritated or sore or anything, but it looks swollen and puffy in the, like in person. So that's kind of weird. Um, and my nose is starting to peel and yeah, it's just, it's just gonna be one of those days. Okay. As you guys have probably noticed already, I don't wear a lot of makeup. Um, I just don't feel like it's great for my skin to constantly have makeup on. So you've probably noticed that a lot of these vlogs are no makeup vlogs. And when I do wear makeup, I feel all like, oh my God, like I feel like I really put in some effort for the day. I don't know how ladies do it. Like ladies that literally put on a full face of makeup every day. Cause I just, I ain't about that life. Hey, I love having a fresh face. So Kind of helps at the moment being sunburnt and having a swollen eye. I'm not putting makeup on today for obvious reasons, but that's okay because I'm used to it. And you guys are probably used to seeing my natural bare face by now anyway. Anyway, I just had some lunch quickly and now I'm going to go up to Kmart and 
see what I can get with my $50 voucher. So I'm back from Kmart. I didn't actually end up vlogging anything because I decided that I would do my Christmas shopping. Not all of it, but some of it. And obviously I don't want to like show on the camera the gifts that I'm getting for friends and family just in case they watch these videos so yeah now I'm going to sit down and wrap them all before Ben gets home because some of them are for Ben although he doesn't watch my videos I just know that the one video he happens to watch randomly would be this one <laughs> just finished wrapping all of those presents but I realized as well that I haven't done my NYX advent calendar for today so let's do that now okay so we're up to day 14 which is here so it looks like it's another lip cream oh my gosh I struggled with this yesterday with two hands let alone one holding the camera now got it so it's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Roam. It looks like a really pretty winter nude kind of color. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys now so that you can see what it looks like. Ooh, oh my God, this smells so good. So that is the color there. I think this would be a really nice winter color. Too bad it's summer right now, but I will definitely save this color for winter because I feel like it'd be very, very wearable in winter. So it's a little bit later on now and I am cooking some dindins. Um, on the menu tonight is fried rice. This is like one of mine and Ben's favorites because you can make so much of it and he really likes taking leftovers to work for lunch. So um, when we make fried rice, we make like bulk fried rice. So I've just started getting the rice going. We haven't got a rice cooker yet, so I'm doing it the old fashioned way in a pot and I'm really, really hoping that it doesn't stick to the bottom. I just need to keep stirring it continuously so that it doesn't. Um, and I'm also about to crack some eggs into there and scramble them up a little bit to pop in the fried rice as well. And then we just have this big bag of stir fry oriental veggies and I'm going to pop that in too. Before I was vegetarian, Ben and I used to put chicken in it, but because I'm vegetarian now, um, we just put a lot of egg in instead to get the protein in there. Super easy, like super, super easy. I love cooking it and I love fried rice. If any of you guys are vegetarian, Leave some comments down below and let me know what your favorite dinners are because I'm kind of struggling to think of like good vegetarian dinners for myself that gives you like all of the nutrients that you kind of need as a vegetarian because you're not eating meat. Um, I don't mind trying vegan things. I'm not vegan at all. I don't think I could ever be vegan. I know that's a very bold statement to make, but I enjoy dairy way too much. I enjoy milk. I enjoy cheese and yeah. The reason I went vegetarian is just because I didn't enjoy meat. So I'm just vegetarian, but I do like trying vegan meals because some of them are so, so delicious. So if you have any recipes or any recommendations, leave them down below because I'm always open to trying new things, especially now that I've got a lot more time um, in the day to kind of experiment and try different things as well. So yeah, let me know down below.